hello friends so now in this video i am going to show you how we can make report of this return product so now first of all right now we don't have uh, the functionality that who is written this product so first of all we have to open this table return product and now here we are going to add one field inside this return products table so after id i am going to add one field field name is written by i am going to take where care n50 so we can identify that who is take on this product as a return now i am going to save right now you can see we have these two item as a return so i can save right now admin sorry spelling mistake admin and now we have to change some code like we can see in sales report here in view detail when we are going to take this product as a return so we have to open this page page name is return.php so let me open this this is the return.php and inside this query we have to pass here session So here I am going to pass so I pass this value now we are going to check this works proper or not so here you can see we have this two entry now I am going to take this product as a return and now here we can see we got this third entry and we got here admin so this is fine now I am going to open this return product report and here also we have to add that field so i am going to open this return product list.php first after bill number our column name is return underscore by okay so now you can see view this written by now here above this table we have to add start date end date because we are going to display report using this return date so from this purchase report i am going to copy this design so i am going to open this purchase report i am going to copy this form date so just copied and here i am going to paste so now let me open that again yeah here you can see we have these things and now we have to write the code this is the same so i'm going to write here if don't just post submit one Here is the else. So this table we have to add in else. So just cut this table. Going to paste inside else. Here also I am going to complete this and going to add this table. But here we have to write where where return date greater than equal to don't store post dt and return date less than equal to don't store post dt2 yeah so now we are going to check this works proper or not so right now you can see we have written date 23rd november so i am going to select that November 22 November 24 and I am going to search so you can see we are getting this two record now we have to change your button name so so this is fine so this way we can create this return product report thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it thank you so much again